Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. So this is February 1st, and I thought I better get a video out, my completed pages for January 2022. I've got some stuff in the way here, but see what I can get done here. So one of the pictures I did was color by number uh, carpet stained glass by such and such diva. I used my Ohuhu markers. I'm starting to get uh, quite a bit of practice with them. I can <laughs> mostly stay within the lines or non-lines, but yeah. So I got this one done. Good page to just start off a, a good month. So that's color by number carpets, stained glass by Satch and Satch Diva. That's my only color by number book this time. <clears throat> So the next one I worked in is Angela Gonzalez, The Magical Colors of Fairies Coloring Book. And this one I picked. The nameplate page. And it did like all different shades of, of pinks. Put some glitter gel pens in there. Where are they? Uh, yeah, see, I'm facing the wrong way. There's some glitter on her wings and on the flower. I love these big-eyed bugs. They're so cute, and this bird. So on this, I uh, used my Pablo pencils, Castle Art glitter gel pens. I used uh, Spectrum Noir crystal on her wings and the bird's eye. And I used a pit pen for dots, a Castle Art... Uh, sorry, Faber-Castell uh, pit pen for the white spots on this mushroom. And these ones down here. You can see the, the glitter on that bird's eye. Or, yeah, the bird's eye. <laughs> They're just so awesome. So yeah, this book is this one I'm doing with Kayla, uh, my granddaughter. So uh, I've got a message out to her, you know, to, to pick a page for our next one. That we need to be doing so hopefully she gets back to me soon and has picked out a page so once again that's uh angela gonzalez the magical colors of fairies uh, the next one i worked in is whimsy girls celebrate the holidays and festive occasions by hannah lynn i love this book it is a, a fabulous little book well, not little, it's a big book. Um, I did this girl for July the 4th in the States. Just working on skin colors, colors for the eyes. I did use some... It's it cold? I have it here on my desk. I thought I did anyway. Stuff for the eyes, nice and clear. Makes them glossy. And they put some gold and silver metallic gel pen, glitter and metallic gel pen coming out of the fizzy. Oh, yeah. So that's my July 4th Halloween girl. Halloween. July 4th uh, coloring girl in Hannah Lynn's book whimsy girls celebrate the holidays and other festive occasions which i hope to work on a lot this year this this book i'd like to get um, a lot of them done i also worked in enchanted faces by hannah lynn and i really like this little book too it um, very cute. Made her hair really pale, pale blonde. I have some sparkle glitter in the wings of the of the butterflies in the corner, uh, surrounding the heart. Her little beads, and on the heart uh, butterflies, I have some sparkle on those as well 
still practicing my skin, trying to get some good combinations. Yeah, she's got the sparkly eyes. Now I used Polly's, my polychromos for the, the skin. It was kind of also an experiment of what I could and couldn't use on this paper. I used uh, Pablo's for the clouds and they, and they turned out great, I love it. And I used my luminance uh, for the hair. So all three of those pencil brands worked really good on this paper. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I did write it down on a card I could stick in here, so I know also that this book will do pretty much most of my pencils. So that's Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat this morning. So this is 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camelia and Jakova. And if anybody watched my video yesterday on um, supplies I got in January, you'll know that I did get this book. Uh, for um, a year-long co buddy color with uh, Nikki in Niagara on her uh, Facebook group. Everyone's uh, going to try and complete this book this year. So I did get this page done. There is some glitter and there is some metallic gel pens. And I did use Ohuhu markers on this page. Now I have... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, so bad. I have uh, done a little bit of work like I explained to yesterday with some stencils and some of those silky uh, crayons to give uh, some kind of background. I've done two of them like that. See how I like coloring that and uh, how it is uh, going up to the, to the edge to give kind of, um, I, I guess for me, uh, some continuity to the, the page. They just kind of end and there's a lot of white space. So I thought, yeah, I'll do something different. This book is going to be meant to uh, experiment a lot in this year. So that's 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camellia and Jokova. <clears throat> I did not get a lot done this month. I've been just busy with, with very lots of other things. <clears throat> so I didn't get a lot done. What I did do... Um, not sure this one is. This was a, an experiment with my Lumis, seeing which colors I liked the best. Um, it wasn't in, uh, meant to be um, an actual page that would be completed. Uh, what I have done is This one here, I've refined the colors that I chose in the first picture. So this one um, is a whip. I'm considering it a whip, and I will get it finished. I've uh, worked really good with this skin tone. I've got it figured out how I want it. So um, I've marked down the colors for this one, and I'm going to put it in my combination section of my book. So I really like it. This was done with Lumis, just straight Lumis. Uh, they work really good on this paper. So uh, I hope to work on a lot of the, the princesses. This is the World of Princesses special by Coloring Heaven. Uh, I want to work on quite a few of them in here this year. It's one of my goals. Um, and not necessarily color the picture itself, but just the skin. Um, if I have time or feel the inkling, yeah, I'll do the whole picture. But my main objective is to be able to do different skin tones. And I thought this would be almost like the perfect book because there's princesses from around the world. You know, there's, there's um, a Japanese princess, an Indian princess, um, Edwardian, I guess you could do whatever you wanted to fantasy princesses, Chinese. So I'll be able to, um, you know, get a photo reference and maybe match the skin tone, um, practice those, and I'll be able to have a combination, a color combination in my book so I can, you know, more readily uh, be able to, to color a character. 
So that's pretty much it for what I've done in January. Like I said, I've been really busy doing some other stuff. Uh, one of them being uh, watching a lot of videos on uh, skin tones. Uh, but for the next part of my video, I'd, um, <clears throat> excuse me, tell you if anybody has COPD, you kind of know how I'm feeling right now. It's like I've got, it feels like I'm drowning, but there's, you know, a piece of phlegm down there the size of a pea. It's just, oh, it's brutal. But anyway, um, I am now at 500 subscribers and I've decided to do, um, I guess you guys ca call it a prize. I'm not sure what you call it. My brain is totally empty right now. Anyway, I'm going to do um, an Amazon gift card. So today is February the 1st and it's Tuesday. So by um, next Tuesday, February the 8th, I believe. Let's take a look in the old calendar. Yes, by February the 8th, I'll go through the comments and um, weed out any doubles and um, randomly pick one of the comments in uh, one of those comment, one of those random generators on YouTube. So it's just a little uh, gift for somebody who, you know, has watched my channel and, and um, especially, you know, gave comments and stuff, good feedback or any kind of feedback, actually just, just nice communication with, with you guys. I really appreciate uh, the fact that I have over 500 people who, who watch me. Um, <laughs> uh, for somebody who's never valued their existence on, on the face of the earth, uh, it is truly overwhelming uh, to know that I I am in contact with 500 people that I don't know on a personal level, that I know on a YouTube level, based on my creativity, what I like to color, what I like to talk about, and that I get comments from you guys, and I, I get thanks for showing my videos, and um, I guess I get uh, positive feedback and, and something that I have lacked my whole life of, uh, and not to bring anybody down, but you know, facts are facts. Um, I am deeply, deeply grateful for each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, just reading your comments sometimes brings me to tears because you, you, you can't imagine how beautiful some of your comments are to me. And I truly, truly do appreciate, appreciate each and every one of you. So um, we'll do a, a draw for an Amazon e gift card so that I can base it on the country that you're from. Um, I think most of my subscribers, I think, <laughs> who knows really, um, I'll be able to uh, get them an Am Amazon e gift card if you happen to be uh, from a country that doesn't have them or doesn't have shipping, I'll have to think of something else. Um, but for right now, just leave me a comment on this video and you will be put in the draw. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for your love, for your support, and I will see you in my next video. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.